So I would just start by saying that this PhD, obviously everyone says that, but I would just say that this is something that for once in my life, I have been really passionate about something. And this journey has been very special to me. So what I would do in that in today's presentation, I would just give a bit of background, contextual background and literature review, and then the main findings of my four studies that I conducted, and then some of the combined findings, and then limitations and suggestions and conclusion in the end. So I would just tell you all a little bit background that how this journey started. So I was working before starting my PhD here in the center. I worked as a clinical psychology, uh, a clinical psychologist in one of the shelter homes back in Pakistan. And those shelter homes had a uh, orphanage attached to it. And I saw that how the caregivers in those orphanages were struggling. They were a lot under stress. They did not have any training, enough resources, professional resources and support. And all those experiences that I had for two years there were the one that really motivated me to do something in that area. Then I researched about what kind of parenting trainings are out there that can be used with the orphanage caregivers because in those orphanages, those caregivers were actually acting like parents to those kids. And that's when I found out about Triple B and I searched about the expertise of Elena. I reached out to Elena, she agreed, and the rest is history. That's how we started. And the other thing that I would just want to talk about is Pakistan is one of the top countries, top 10 countries to host the orphan children in the world. Reasons being poverty, poor health, lack of sanitation, natural disasters, refugees, and Child care and welfare policies and guidelines are not well established. Plus 24% population lives below poverty line. Structural and constitutional lack pushes for more reliance on the orphanage care system for such children rather than adoption and foster care. And at present, there are 4.6 million orphan children that have been residing in Pakistan. And then I would just talk about some researches on orphanages and caregivers conducted and then mentioned that while the material requirements of orphan children were taken care of, they did experience emotional deprivation, including interpersonal uh, interaction with staff. The social and emotional relationship deprivation in children can contribute to problems such as physical and emotional dysregulation, behavioral issues, attachment problems, as proposed by research is done in different parts of the world, whether in South Asia, where Pakistan is located, and in other north, global north. People who work as caregivers for orphan children are the most influential part of their life as they interact with children on a daily basis. However, until now, little is being investigated regarding caregivers in those orphanages of low and middle income countries. The little data that we have indicates that caregivers seldom have specialized qualification in child care and have usually inadequate caregiving experience and report high workload and stress level. They have also been underrated with low salaries, low perceived professional status and wrong working hours, which makes these caregivers more susceptible to burn out and more likely to have a negative perception of the child under their care. So if you look at the orphanage care system, the work-related stress and self-efficacy of caregivers can have a direct consequences on the health and welfare of the children under their care. When children, uh, when child care professionals are subjected to prolonged taxing work environment, it can anticipate unreliability regarding their role and can induce a lack of caregiver-child interaction degree. It also decreases their personal and professional satisfaction and promotes conflict between themselves and with the children under their care as well. That's why the orphanage caregiving environment have been linked to negative developmental outcomes among children residing in orphanages. But less is known about the impact of these constraints on the psychological well-being. Oh, my apologies. But less is known about the impact of these constraints on the psychological well-being and self-efficacy of caregivers in orphanages. 
So now if we look at caregivers and the caregiving that they provide, some researchers did study the psychological well-being of orphanage caregivers. These researchers have recognized that caregivers perceived well-being as an area of significant importance, both for the positive developmental outcomes of or orphan children and for the responsive orphanage environment. The mechanism is that when primary caregiving adults respond to the behavior of a child by being under significant stress, they are at a high risk of maltreating a child and a huge part of stated abusive incident is because of their efforts to control or correct the perceived behavior. This has been also supported by many other findings that unhelpful behaviors of caregivers working in the orphanages is directly related to the empowered psychological well-being, which has been attributed to the lack of caregiving knowledge, context-specific training, and work-related stress. It has been also proposed that positive, healthy, and secure interactions and caregiving practice can boost a child's social and emotional development and psychological well-being. Where caregivers understand their roles and responsibilities by building a long-lasting relationship with children and recognizing that children need to feel a sense of love and belonging. Researchers conducted in Pakistani orphanages also have recommended that relationships should be based upon positive and healthy interactions and bonding, which can provide a safe environment for children to grow and foster positive emotional bonding among themselves and with their caregivers. And to cultivate these positive relationships, context-specific trainings should be provided to the orphanage staff to promote, to promote a more home-like environment for those children. Now, talk a little bit about the importance of a context-specific training. Caregiving practices in orphanages can be modified and enhanced by skill training and expansion of their skill set. Training accompanied by ongoing monitoring can prevent poor developmental outcomes, outcomes, and these positive changes in caregiving practices can also decrease the risk of child maltreatment. Multiple other researches conducted in Pakistani orphanages have also proposed the importance of a home-like environment in the orphanages and emphasized that educating the caregivers to care for children as if they were their own by endorsing behavioral changes in their caregiving practices and having adequate knowledge regarding child development can have a positive impact and a decrease in the likelihood of child abuse. According to the World Health Organization, the person referred to as a parent may be any adult biologically related to the child or not who fulfills the caregiving role. In the Pakistani orphanage context, caregivers are similar to parents as they take care of children after they have been displaced from their family of origin. Parents and orphanage caregivers share many roles, such as providing emotional support to children, taking care of their daily needs, helping with house chores, school works, along with disciplining children. They share the same challenges of dealing with matters as small as picking the right color of socks to responding to serious temper tantrum, which make their roles and responsibility greatly alike. In many orphanages, caregivers even consider themselves to be parents of children under their care rather than just a caregiver on their duty and would even ask children to call them their mothers. Since parents and orphanage caregivers similar roles and responsibility, many studies conducted and concluded that parenting programs might be effective for caregivers as well. Parenting programs that focus on social learning and behavioral change have proven efficacy in the prevention and management of children's emotional and behavioral issues. Parent training results in improved knowledge, confidence, and more effective caregiving. Some meta-analysis have provided testament to the effectiveness of evidence-based parenting intervention on child-rearing practices, parent-child relationship, Parenting stress and emotional and behavioral issues of children in foster care and adoption. Triple B promotes the use of positive and structured parenting practices that can help parents to create and sustain a warm and supportive environment for children's learning and upbringing. 
One very important aspect of Triple B is that it specifically aims to improve families' protective factors by increasing parental knowledge and skills along with decreasing risk factors such as maltreatment and neglect, which are linked with serious psychological issues in children and youth. It has been translated into 17 languages and has proven effective in culturally diverse community. So that leads me to just provide you all with a summary of care. What we know till now is that orphanage caregivers are under stress, they lack training, and the unhelpful caregiving practices can have a direct impact on the developmental outcomes of children under their care. But interventional work can be provided to them. A great need has been established for that. And we have also come to know that no training or interventional work has been done in the Pakistani orphanages. And Triple B has not been implemented in the orphanage setting before. Now I would just uh, talk a little bit about the broader aims of my research as a whole. The main aims of my research to, was to explore orphanage caregivers' caregiving challenges, their commonly used caregiving practices, and assessing their need for context-specific training to deliver and evaluate the feasibility of context-specific training that would enhance the perceived personal well-being and self-efficacy of these caregivers, also promotes the use of more positive caregiving practices, foster healthy caregiver-child relationship, enable caregivers to deal with emotional and behavioral problem of children within orphanages in a healthy and constructive way, to also deliver and evaluate the feasibility of context-specific training to supporting staff members of those orphanages to aid caregivers with foster caregiving of children, while also being focused on improving the relationship between these supporting staff and children residing in those orphanages. So the total number of children across the three orphanages in my study, I collected data from the three Pakistani orphanages. The total number of children that were residing in those orphanages were 687. One orphanage had 32 children, and then that was a relatively small. Another one had 184, and the one with the largest number was 471. And the total number of caregivers that met the criteria and participated in this study were 14. The ages range from 27 to 50, uh, 51. Six were females and seven were males. All of the male participants or caregivers had master's qualification, while four female caregivers had high school education and two female caregivers had master qualification. These caregivers in Pakistani orphanages were usually working in pairs doing either single day or night shifts, peak, um, roughly of 10 to 12 hours. Accommodation was provided to all the caregivers on the premises of the orphanage and also to their families. They were also provided with free meals, utilities, and education for their own children. Caregiver roles in the orphanages included daily care, mentoring, and supporting Cool work. So this is just a picture of how the orphanages look like in Pakistan. These are the pictures that I took when I went back uh, to Pakistan to conduct my first study and took these pictures with the permission of the orphanage management. And again, this is the bedroom. This is the main outside area. This was their dining hall. This was a little play group area outside their bedrooms. The bedrooms are just along this side and on the left side as well. So now I will just share with you the findings of my first study. So my first study was a semi uh, was a qualitative study that included semi-structure interviews, face-to-face -face interviews with 14 caregivers from three orphanages who were currently caring for four to 12-year-old children in Pakistani orphanages. These were the results. Five main themes emerged out of it. Theme one was religiosity. And it also included two sub-themes, faith in God, 
and orphans as a source of blessing. So overall, religiosity played an important role in terms of job satisfaction, caregivers content with their role despite the hardship and stress because of their strong belief in God. Caregivers also saw the children as a source of luck and blessing from God to protect them from all the misfortune. Second theme was economic relief. None of the caregivers were financially satisfied with their salary. However, this was offset by all the orphanages providing rent-free accommodation, food, and utilities, which kept caregivers in their position. Theme three included caregivers' needs and well-being. It had four sub-themes. The personal and professional needs was a desire for increased salary, some form of professional training, more caregivers being hired, and increased acknowledgement from the administration. Second sub-theme was regarding caregiving challenges, which caregivers reported to be physically this job, physically challenging and mentally tiring. Common challenges were taken care uh, such as taking care of large number of children who comes from diverse background and already seen a lot of hardships in their family of origin. Third sub theme of that was physical, psychological, personal, and social stressors. Caregivers reported shifts were long. The ratio of children per caregiver was high. On average, one caregiver was taking care of 18 children. They said that they were sleeping six to seven hours per night, which they were most of the caregivers were not happy about it. They felt that there's they needed more hours to rest, worked continuously without taking enough breaks. Male caregivers reported more financial stressors, whereas female caregivers reported more emotional and personal stressors. Coping mechanisms to deal with the job-related stress included praying, having a nap, talking to family or friends over the phone, having a tea or a warm milk, playing with children, and chatting with other caregivers. Fourth sub theme was uh, sorry. Fourth theme was caregiving for children who have been orphaned. It also included two sub themes. First was self perception as caregivers. Caregivers doing things. They believed that were in the best interest of children and considered themselves to be more parent rather than caregiver. This was this is important to note because all of the caregivers reported that when I interviewed them, they said that we do not see ourselves as a caregiver. We see ourselves as a parent to these kids. They we see them equally in, as we see our own children living in these orphanages with us. Second theme was a sub theme was awareness of children's psychological needs. Caregivers, all the caregivers were fully aware that children have emotional and psychological needs and social and physical as well. And plus, there was no psychologist in any of the orphanages because of the financial constraints and the limited funding that the orphanages had. Final theme was need for training. None of the caregivers, whether they were working for two years or as long as 27 years, had any form of or received any professional training for their role, but became proficient by trial and error and taking guidance from the senior caregivers who were working already in those orphanages. They all expressed interest in professional training. Significant needs regarding training included they wanted to have knowledge regarding caregiving of children, especially in stressful situation, how to encourage children to be more cooperative and understand developmental and psychological needs of children under their care, how to manage temper tantrums and develop better communication skills and relationship with the children under their care. I will just talk a little bit about the expected and novel findings of this specific study as a whole. In study one, one of the interesting findings of the study was that the reported gender difference in terms of perceived personal well-being among caregivers in regards to their work while performing caregiving duties, female caregivers expressed more emotional and physical stressors alongside financial concerns such as stress, exhaustion, lack of family time, whereas the majority of the male caregivers only mentioned the financial stress of their work, such as not getting enough money to take care of their family. This can be explained in two contexts. One is the cultural, for example, in Pakistan, males are perceived to be stronger gender, both physically and psychologically. The females are perceived to be more expressive in terms of showing their vulnerability and stress. 
The second can be gender itself, where studies have mentioned across the globe that women in general are more likely, likely to perceive stress on a higher level as compared to men when it comes to professional and personal aspects of their life. Another compelling finding was an absence of a psychologist across these three orphanages and that none of the caregivers across these orphanages had ever received any professional context-specific training before this, although their experiences range from 2 to 23 years of age. It would not be surprising to see this as parents and primary caregivers Having low income generally do not perceive receiving or seeking professional caregiving training or support to be necessary for their role, whereas the literature on orphanage caregivers have also extensively reported caregivers to seldom receive any professional caregiving training. These are some of the pictures from my first study when I was lucky enough to go back and conduct them face to face. These are the caregivers from those three orphanages. So the second study was a quasi experimental design where the group triple P was delivered to caregivers in a group workshop format over Zoom because COVID happened and the travel restrictions were there and we had to um, modify our delivery from face to face. Initially it was planned face to face, but then we um, moved to Zoom. Two half days, for example, five hours each day session was conducted in each orphanage. Once the group triple P sessions were complete, three follow-up Zoom sessions of 20 to 30 minutes were conducted again in a group format. Assessment occurred at pre, post uh, and follow-up um, interventional time. Repeated Myers ANOVA were conducted to evaluate the effectiveness of group triple P on the dependent variables. These were the measures that I used in my studies. I will talk about them one by one. So the results are about, let me first talk about caregivers' well-being cut. If you can see at this uh, graph that I put on there, you would see that significant time effect for the GHU mean scores from pre-test to po uh, post-test to follow-up was Seeing Bonferroni pairwise comparison test revealed a significant decrease in GHQ scores from pre-test to post-test, and this was sustained at follow-up, indicating that the personal well-being of study participants improved following participation in group triple B. If we look at the caregivers' parental efficacy, a high a significant time effect for uh, parental uh, sense of competency scale mean scores from pre-test to follow-up with Bonferroni pairwise comparison revealed a significant change in total school, uh, scores at all three assessment points, suggesting there was a significant increase in caregivers' sense of parental efficacy following participation in group triple If you look at the parenting scale, Again, the Bonferroni pairwise comparison revealed a significant change in total uh, uh, mean score from pre-test to post-test, and this was sustained at follow-up with the large effect size. These results indicate a significant decrease in the use of dysfunctional parenting practices among caregivers following participation in group triple. If we look at the subscales of the parenting scale individually, we can see that um, repeated Maya ANOVA for the laxness subscale indicated there was a significant decrease in the permissive parenting practices of caregivers following participation in group triple D. Whereas for the overreactivity subscales indicated that the authoritarian parenting practices of caregivers significantly decreased following participation in group triple D. And the hostility subscale results suggest that caregivers significantly reduce the use of verbal and physical force in their parenting practices following participation in group triple B. For the challenging child behavior, hyper child uh, be, uh, behavior inventory subscales the results suggest that there was a significant decrease in the frequency of challenging behaviors of children reported by the caregivers following participation in group triple B. And from the for the problem subscales results suggest that the number of challenging behaviors of children 
within orphanages decreased significantly as reported by caregivers after participation in group therapy. For the caregiver-child relationship, closeness subscale results suggest that there was a significant increase in the warmth and affection in caregiver-child relationship once they participated in a uh, completed group triple B training. Whereas for the conflict subscale suggests that the perceived negativity in their relationship decreased significantly following participation in group triple B. And now again, I will just talk a little bit about the important findings generally from the study group. Overall, group triple B was well accepted by all the caregivers across orphanages. As principles of the triple B were reported to be closely resemble the Pakistani caregiving cultures and norms. Caregivers also noted that the best part of triple B strategies was to use positive caregiving strategies with bigger groups of children, which made caregiving more time efficient for them. It is also important to note that these results of group triple B in Pakistani orphanages were achieved through Zoom. Uh, initially, as I just mentioned, that I plan to deliver it in person, but because of the COVID pandemic and uh, travel restrictions, I had to reschedule everything and modify it through Zoom. This study was the first to implement Triple B in an orphanage context and explore its effectiveness of poor caregivers and children in their care. It was also the first study to introduce Triple B in Pakistan and the first to implement any professional training with caregivers working in Pakistani orphanages. The significant positive outcomes for enhanced caregivers' perceived well-being, they improved confidence and healthy caregiving practices along with positive child behavior and enhanced caregiver-child relationships support the use of an evidence-based parenting intervention with orphanage caregivers in a proxy parenting role. It can be assumed from the significant results that Triple P, which is Extensively, research is not only useful for parents, but also for anyone who's either a primary caregiver to a child or children. After the uh, completion of study two, it led me to the study three, which was again a qualitative study, consisting of focus group discussions with caregivers working in Pakistan and orphanages. One, uh, Two hour focus group discussions were conducted in each of the three participating orphanages with the same caregivers who participated in the first two studies. I conducted study three to basically explore caregivers' subjective experiences regarding participation in group to be once they completed that training. Okay, now we'll just talk a little bit about the main findings of this study. Support teams emerged out of these uh, the findings from the study. The theme one was regarding caregiver skill enhancement, which had two sub-themes, changes in caregiving practices and improved confidence in their caregiving roles. This sub-theme told or demonstrated how taking part in group triple B assisted caregivers to positively modify their ineffective caregiving practices, such as repeating instructions multiple times, ignoring some serious negative behaviors, and sometimes overreact to minor issues. Caregivers adopted many helpful caregiving practices, such as spending quality time, praise, and setting boundaries, which helped them in managing daily stressors. Caregivers were shamed before the training. Caregivers were shamed by some members of the orphanage administration who criticized and humiliated them for not being able to manage children's behavior and being overwhelmed in stressful situation. Receiving this training improved caregivers' knowledge, stress management, and thus increasing their confidence. Something tells us about behavioral outcomes which included three sub-themes, changing in child behavior, such as increased compliance and cooperation, showing respect to caregivers, healthy communication, better anger management, and following rules. Second was changes in caregivers' behavior. Caregivers dedicated one hour each day where they would do what children wanted to do rather than caregiver imposing their activities on children. Caregivers made clubs such as reading clubs, writing clubs, debate clubs, storytelling clubs, and also changes in caregivers' family. Although caregivers' own children were never part of the focus of the study, all caregivers mentioned 
that group triple P help them in managing the emotional and behavioral issues of their own children as well. What they learned from the program they shared with their partners and applied to deal with parenting issues in their own home as well. Third theme was regarding improved personal well-being. This theme reflected the impact of Triple P on the perceived well-being of caregivers. Triple P promoted the concept of keeping a reasonable outlook when it came to the parenting of children under the care. Under the care. Caregivers reinterpreted some challenging behaviors such as crying, whinging, not following instructions as a result from a lack of spending quality time and not providing needs-based caregiving. Learning about the group triple P principles, such as taking care of yourself as a parent caregiver, started doing little things for themselves, which proved to be a source of respite. Caregivers reported that they never previously thought about self-care and believed that it was if they are not working all the time, it means they are not sincere in their roles. After attending group triple P, caregivers took out time to do activities they enjoyed, such as resting when children went to the school, taking a break with fellow caregivers, or spending time with their own family. Once caregivers took more care of their own needs, they felt happier and more in control of difficult situations when performing caregiving duties. Reflecting on perceived personal well-being, caregivers discuss the impact of transferring triple B strategies from work to their home. They worked with their partners to implement the strategies with their own children, which helped them create a positive home environment and enhance their personal sense of well-being. This generalization of skill was a significant finding as caregivers' children were being part of Okay, give us children being part of the study would never discuss during the program. Fourth theme is uh, represents change in relationships. So after group triple P, caregivers realized the importance of building relationships through mutual respect and support and how this can reduce their stress and promote harmony in the workplace. It included three sub themes relationship with children. Caregivers started investing in the relationship with children under their care. And once children noticed this positive change, they developed a bond of trust and care by showing more cooperation and respect towards caregivers. Receiving the same program produced a sense of cohesion and peer support among caregivers. They reported that it reduced the frequency of disagreements between them and increased cooperation and teamwork. I think then improving the relationship with orphan children and colleagues, Group Triple B also helped improve relationship between caregivers and the administration of the orphanage staff. Caregivers reported that after completing the program, the attitude of the orphan, uh, administration staff changed towards them. They treated caregivers with more respect and included them in monthly meetings where they were asked to give input for the improvement of the orphanage environment. This was a major change as initially caregivers were never included in any of the administrative meetings. It facilitated the formation of a more beneficial and pragmatic relationship between the two parties. And again, a summary of the study three findings. In addition to the confirmation of the previous study results, an interesting finding was that caregivers learned that taking care of themselves was important. Caregivers never thought about this before. They believed it was dishonesty to their work if they would sit down and relax for a while. Caregivers mentioned that learning to take care of themselves as a part of caregiving role took a significant burden off their shoulder. Some of the other interesting and novel findings from the study were the caregivers started applying the same caregiving strategies learned from group triple B to manage the undesirable behavior of their own children as well. This depicted successful learning and generalization of positive and consistent caregiving practices across work and family. The formation of positive relationship was reported on three dimensions after the completion of group triple B which included positive relationship among caregivers with children under their care and orphanage administration. After uh, group triple P produced a sense of cohesion and support among orphanage caregivers and also promoted a relationship of respect with the orphanage administration as well. Caregivers reported that after the training, they started seeing a positive change in the orphanage administration attitude. 
they felt that the administration staff started giving them more respect by listening to them and adding their suggestions and implementing them when it comes to the decisions regarding the caregiving of orphan children. So this leads me towards my fourth study. After the completion of study two and study three, a strong need and suggestion were put forward by all the orphanage caregivers for the training of the remaining orphanage supporting staff that were not included in the previous um, uh, triple P training, such as the cooks, cleaner, gardener, security guards. Reason being that these people were spending a big chunk of time during each day with the children and all the orphanage caregivers reported that their unhelpful behaviors was impacting children in the orphanage in, in an unhelpful way. So they all wanted these um, supporting staff to have some kind of professional training so they can help caregivers with the positive caregiving of orphan children and also to promote a positive caregiving in the environment, in the orphanage. So this study including two participating group in group one semi-structure interviews were conducted in three, same three uh, orphanages with three acting managers. Um, to gather information regarding the perceived benefits of triple B implementation that was delivered in their orphanage earlier with their caregivers, all managers had master's level education, two were female and one was female. The ages range from 38 to 57 years old and managers were responsible for overall uh, management of the orphanage, general complaints, recruiting and meeting with the stakeholders. Group two consisted of supporting staff members of the orphanage. From here onwards, I might refer to them just as staff. A total of 24 staff attended Triple P seminar and a focus group discussion was held afterwards. They were all male, had high school qualification and their ages range from 21 to 54 years old. None of the staff had previously received Triple B or any other context-specific formal caregiving training. Staff was responsible for daily chores such as cooking, cleaning, laundry, security. They interacted with children on a daily basis and look after their daily needs corresponding to their relevant duty. So two half-day Triple B seminars that that is the power of positive parenting, were delivered to the staff of the three orphanages separately. All the orphanage staff was invited to participate in this seminar, uh, but some of them could not make it because of their nighttime duties or other personal reasons. The study was conducted again online through Zoom due to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic travel restrictions. And to protect the privacy of the participants, no independent demographics were provided that can be an identifier for the relevant orphanage. Again, I will talk generally about the themes of the results of the study. So I will talk about four themes were identified. Two themes emerged out of the manager interview data and two themes emerged out of the staff focus group discussions. So themes from the manager's interviews were one regarding the orphanage environment, which had three sub-themes. Managers described caregivers to be more empathetic, caring, and responsive to children's needs after the training. Positive caregiving practices were also reported to be used in everyday routine, where coercive practices were reported to be eliminated by managers. For the professional conflicts among caregivers were decreased as observed and reported by those managers. Moreover, caregivers also appear to be more calm and confident in managing their everyday caregiving duty. While commenting on children's behavior, reported complaints by children also decreased significantly from every day to once a week, where children would sometimes go to the managers and complain about the unhelpful behaviors of the um, caregivers, which was a major source of relief for the orphanage administration. Children's behavior was also reported to be more positive. They showed respect, obedience toward caregivers that was observed by all the managers in those three orphanages. Managers reported that the orphanage of the or the environment of the orphanage to become more structured and cooperative since the triple P was delivered. 
they reported that their own role has been that they have they have done they are doing better in their own role by reporting that administration work to be less stressful group triple p helped managers to become more time efficient and task focused as complaint from children and caregivers were low which also gained these managers positive appraisal from orphanage board members and authorities p2 was um, regarding the need for additional training this thing described the bare need for professional training for staff such as cook cleaner gas lawn sweepers and of the participating orphanages who did not take part in the group triple p training managers mentioned that these staffs are an important part of children's life as they interact with children daily in their mess hall playgrounds laundry rooms and generally around the orphanage where children spend at least 5 to 6 hours of their day managers stated that current behavior of the orphan uh, of the staff to be rude and abusive towards children and other colleagues as well they used abusive language and rude attitude which was also being modeled by children as well and managers were really concerned about that themes emerging from the staff focus groups were one uh, theme one was regarding positive learning after the seminar triple b seminar was delivered to them it consisted of two sub themes positive behavior modification and children's response to that all the supporting staff reported that seminar provided them with adequate knowledge regarding what positive caregiving looks like in real life it helped them to identify and modify unhelpful behaviors through the use of positive parenting strategies and practice these strategies to overcome challenging situations one of the interesting thing that i remember from the interviews with supporting staff was that that sometimes we do not uh, pay such attention to small things one of the supporting staff just mentioned to me that he did not even realize that if he uses abusive language that it can actually have a negative impact on children because according to him he was just saying it to other colleague and not to children but the triple p helped them to understand this thing that this can actually have an impact because if children learn what they see so i would just say that there are multiple these kind of other examples that just shows little verbatim that how significant the impact of triple p was on the behaviors of these staff and orphanage caregivers according to all staff positive change in their behavior produced a positive response from children children reportedly became cooperative with staff the frequency of child misbehavior such as shouting crying name calling pulling faces towards the staff making a mess was significantly reduced staff reported spending more quality time with children and mentioned their behavior modification and children positive response helped in fostering healthy relationship between them thing two was regarding impact on their profession and it had two sub themes work and stress management and second was professional relationship all the staff reported becoming more responsible and organized by understanding the impact of their unhelpful behavior on children initially staff reported blaming each other and children if things would not go as planned but they after that they discussed matter with each other and started working as a group which enabled them to manage their workload effectively staff also reported that key giving knowledge from the seminar helped them to see their role from a productive perspective they started building teamwork mutual support which enhanced their relationship with each other staff reported being felt appreciated by their hard work and effort and this positive appraisal helped in facilitating positive relationship of staff with caregivers and your know, orphanage administration again an overview of the study four findings after the completion um of study 3 and 2 uh, as i mentioned that a strong need was put forward by all the orphanage um caregivers for the training of supporting staff study from this uh, findings from this study revealed the managers perceived caregivers to be more empathetic caring and responsive once the uh, triple p training was delivered an additional significant finding reported by all the managers was a positive change in the overall orphanage environment 
For example, the orphanage environment was said to be more organized where the daily tasks were running as per plans. Managers associated this positive change with the group triple B training that caregivers attended, which reduced the complaints coming from children regarding the unhelpful behavior of caregivers and managers could spend more time on doing their daily tasks. It is interesting to note that these findings are very similar to the ones reported by the caregivers once they completed the group triple B, such as being able to manage stress and workload efficiently, being more supportive with each other by developing teamwork and supportive attitude, increase in their confidence, enhanced professional relationship, and improved relationship with the orphan children, along with appreciation from the administration. All these findings parallel other research, for example, when positive relationships or changes were incorporated at both behavioral and operational levels among orphanage workers through context-specific training, a decline was observed in children behavioral issue and improvement was seen in work-related satisfaction and development of relationship. This study highlights many significant points as to the best of my knowledge. This study provided insight and practical knowledge regarding the importance of promoting a positive and healthy environment in the orphanage by involving all the working staff and equipping them with context-specific training. This study also showed that Triple B is feasible to implement not just with caregivers, but also with the other supporting staff members who are involved in caregiving of orphan children in some capacity. This showed us that an evidence-based parenting program such as Triple B is not only helpful for caregivers in a proxy parent role, but also for anyone and everyone who's involved with the caregiving of orphan children in some capacity. An overview of the combined studies is that Pakistani caregivers, we got to know that they're facing numerous caregiving challenges. They expressed a strong desire and need for professional training. And when that training was delivered, it has um, it showed improvement in their personal well-being and efficacy of orphanage caregivers. And that context-specific tra training, uh, caregiving training is feasible and successful to enhance the overall orphanage environment. Following group triple B, there was significant outcomes for caregiver, caregivers, children, and other staff working in those orphanages. By looking at and considering all the above mentioned four, uh, points, it would not be wrong to say that triple B demonstrate to enhance these dimensions of its recipient in a consistent and significant manner. Now this leads me towards the limitations and suggestions section of my overall research. Studies conducted in this program of research have some individual limitations, which also have the tendency to impact the findings of overall thesis. For example, one significant limitation of the quantitative study was the small number of participants, as only three orphanages agreed to participate in this research. While there were diverse settings and organizational structures, it does limit the generalizability of the findings. Well, I recommend a larger scale randomized control trial would strengthen these findings that would include more orphanages and their caregivers. Small sample size can also have a, can induce or report large effect size, and this study needs to be interpreted in that context. Even though it was a small study with small sample size, the quasi-experimental design supports the feasibility of group triple B in an orphanage setting. And because no other painting or caregiver interventional work has been done in Pakistani orphanages, the results of this small sample study can give some insightful direction for the future research to be conducted in a similar context. Another limitation could be that even though some of the assessment measures used in the quantitative quantitative study had previously been used with Pakistani population, none of them had been used or validated with Pakistani orphanage setting. It might not be possible to generalize the finding of this study to the orphanage caregivers or either attending to children with more severe issues or caring for a different age group. For example, caregivers attending to children exhibiting more severe, intense emotional and behavioral problems might need more extensive training based upon additional domains such as stress management 
or caregivers who are providing caregiving to children younger than four years old or older than 12 years might need different modules of training. As the needs of younger children or older teenage are different along with the developmental outcomes and perceived reported problem. Although there was a significant difference in the assessment values from pre to follow-up, I saw a trend where the values would drop between post and follow-up. Conducting longitudinal studies could help identify factors that were impacting this and could provide support around those areas to help caregivers create more sustainable practices and skills. So in a conclusion, I would say that this research has demonstrated that parent training programs such as Triple P is not only helpful for parents, but also for adults working in a caregiver, as a caregiver to children or supporting staff members. It has shown to promote positive caregiving practices among orphanage caregivers, improving their efficacy and also improving the perceived well-being of orphan children. The findings of this research have demonstrated that Triple P is also capable of producing a supportive, uh, supportive environment in orphanage by promoting positive relationship among orphanage caregivers. Triple P also enhances the support structure and group cohesion among orphanage staff. I hope the findings of this research can contribute towards enhancing the caregiving capacity of orphanage caregivers in Pakistan and across the globe in similar contextual settings along with providing orphan children with a safe, nurturing environment they can learn and grow both physically and emotionally. Thank you, everyone.